Hey, Scotty, would you like to dive back into Ravnica with me? Ooh, that is much better. Okay, let's do that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another one of our Lazy Swim unboxing videos, a series where Scotty and I take the time to unbox products and read out the cards while letting you know how good they are and if the product is truly worth your time and money. So grab your favorite drink, sit down, lay back, and relax as we dive into this unboxing. I am your host, Vlad, and this is Scotty. Thank you very much, Scotty, for that wonderful introduction. And today, we are continuing our Murders at Carlo Manor unboxing series Series, and we're having a look at the bundle. This expansion does not have a special bundle or a gift bundle, but yes, this is the normal bundle and it is cited by the Cluedo edition as well, but that is not really a bundle. It's more in of itself a time with uh, the Clue or Cluedo game. Depending on where you are in the world, you will know it as Clue or Cluedo. And uh, yeah, basically this is the one and only box that you'll be getting if you want a bundle. And inside you'll find nine of the the play boosters and you'll find 15 traditional foil and 15 regular ones and then an alternate art traditional x bane ferox card and a murders of carlo manor card box a die and then some reference cards plus the usual stuff so that's about it without further ado let's dive into this bundle i am a huge huge fan of bundles so i love opening these how are you by the way how has life been treating you we've been really really busy at work as we have made and built our own car marketplace the fair friendly sharks uh, car marketplace here in the uk exclusive to our uk residents so if you're in the uk and you want to trade or buy or sell your cars online you'll be able to do that i'll leave a link into the description down below that's it for our plug but yeah um that's what we've been doing and so if you want to buy or find any of these cars like these ones online you'll be able to find them on our website do remember that we do not sell these cars ourselves on our own website Okay, so opening up, let's first look at the Ruby Ruse. So this is a puzzle, basically, to be able to see the clues. Because this expansion came out with a little clue tie-in with people trying to puzzle out the storyline, who done it, and all that. So it was a very much a clue in tie-in within the story itself and a murder that was committed, as you can see here. And yeah, the box in and of itself is a little little bit strange unlike having the usual all-around illustration you have characters one each and i guess this is more like the clue game itself i have played clue only once in my life so <laughs> i don't quite remember it and then you get the card out cardboard and they also have a little separated to keep everything separated now it's mixed but there you go and then you get the little box of well box no booster of cards the two helper cards and then nine play boosters and then the one and only die this one if you can see here is a very red and yeah with blue and it's very transparent as well very cute if you are into these combination of colors it's quite striking so there you go that's that then let's have a look at the promo part so you'll get the promo card and also the lands in and of itself this has been printed in belgium so the cards tend to be less cream gold and print gold than overall we have seen the X-Bain Ferox, but we have not seen it in this format, but it's quite a beautiful card. And we get some of the impossible ones, the Ecumenopolis of Ravnica. So there you go. You get only five, but that's nice. They're foil and beautiful. I quite like these. And then you get the normal version of the lands foil. So these are two each per. And then you get five of the full art lands non-foil and then the normal lands non-foil. So if you're a collector for that, there you go now you know where you can find them well i to be fair i understand that most people have already seen videos and understood the products we are quite late on this as i said we've been busy and apologize if you were waiting for us to be able to do this but we finally got to it and that's it that's the contents extra contents of the box and now we'll open up the play boosters as usual if you are a beginner or you want to go oh, that one open really easily or you want to give a gift to a beginner that's just starting out and trying to understand what the game is about and maybe collect some cards uh not the 
the very very beginning because that i would buy a started deck and try and learn together but um other than that yeah this is a great great little gift you can buy for people so we've seen uh basically almost all the commons so we'll skip right through and we'll look at the uncommons that we haven't seen this is room brand juggler is a 2-2 that's ragdos and it's a human shaman when it enters the battlefield suspect up to one target creature you control and then for five sacrifice it suspected creature and then target creature gets minus five minus five until the end of turn so that's quite annoying and it's quite powerful okay next up we have faith flight this is in enchantment art that we saw before we have cease and desist which we've seen before and now we have oh nice the meticulous archives so this is the surveil double line and i love this colors i think this is one of the more expensive ones uh, alongside maybe the demir one so that's a very very good one then we have another rear doppelgang and uh, you can pay triple x and then simic for each x target permanent and create x tokens that are copies of that permanent that can be really really good uh it is a high cost but for example if you're playing limited and you get this it can really turn the tide in and of itself so that's quite good i'm gonna put the good cards aside and then we'll recap and then we have toxin analysis and the foil an island foil and then some beautiful beautiful art this is of macabre reconstruction very gorgeous okay so if you're new to the channel first of welcome but also we go through the cards we explain we give you our thoughts and we take our time to read them out so we're not just here for the big hits okay out cold and here I'll, i love the magnifying lens uh, or magnifying glass version the showcase version is quite quite beautiful i believe and uh, well to each own but i think it's really nice and i love what they've done with the showcase versions overall i think they always add their own unique styles we have the burden proof which we've seen deadly complication which was on the little art leaflet the polygraph orb and torch the witness poor poor witness and we get the case of the lock hothouse this is an enchantment case and it costs four screen you may play an additional land on each of your turns and then to solve you control seven or more lands and once you solve you may look at the top card of your library at any time and you may play lands and cast creature enchantment spells from the top of your library this is very good once it's solved and you can definitely ramp into it and it could be good for certain specific decks in a slower format but otherwise i think that if you have a deck for limited that builds around it why not sample collector i love this card and spoil and then we get a planes and a bat token fine nice okie dokie and we have one more booster and uh, we have a total of six left after this one next one brings us let's see let's see let's see oh i like the escape tunnel it's quite cool i love the murder version in this one don't know why i really like that illustration okay we have hard hitting question this is the sorcery and then insidious roots which is quite quite strong quite annoying can be okay so the shatter pack this can be really really cool if we manage to play a five color deck in limited that'd be really nice and then we have crowbot haunch and coveted falcon it's a one four that costs three that's a bird i think we've seen it before it's an artifact creature has two blue pips in the cost and has flying and whenever it attacks you can control target permanent you own but do not control and you can disguise it and whenever it's face turn face up target opponent gains control of any number of target permanents you control draw a card for each or oh, one of them they gain control this way it's a it man you know in the end it can be if you give them control of some tokens that's great but if you give them control of something strong and they can hurt you in the long run we've seen quite a few airtight alibis that were foil in this um boxing so far that's interesting oh and then we have an acumen and oh nice what's this one unauthorized exit very very cool oh there you go continuing on yeah this expansion has been interesting it has been a very strange departure from the storyline of magic the gathering and that that is something that a lot of people have noticed the past few expansions have been kind of hit and miss with the story you look at the lost caverns of Ixalan, it wasn't actually that bad but then uh, yeah you have this and then the wild west <laughs> without outlaws and it just seems like there's no line of story like there used to be back in well when i started playing it was at the very beginning so i will say back in the middle line i mean i think from antiquities that's when they started tempest block was the main storyline block but in and of itself there was quite a lore befitting throughout different expansions and blocks anyways you have yaris roar of the old gods it's a 4-4 central druid that is gruel cost four and it's the legendary other creatures you control have hey other whenever one or more face down creatures you control deals combat damage to a player you get to draw a card and whenever a face down creature you control dies return to combat uh, to the battlefield face down under its owner's control if it's a permanent card then turn to face up so this is extremely strong if you build 
a face up you know deck around it and yeah that's insane if it's not dealt with it's gonna just skyrocket you then we have our assailant in foil and a forest and oh ho, ho, ho. It's so cute oh my god that is just adorable here let me let me put the plant somewhere over the rainbow there you go yeah i have a cute puppy dog this is a labrador retriever and it is adorable oh my god oh my god oh my god that is so cute okay i'll stop now i just love dogs anyway <laughs> that is such a cool one they made the um, recently they made a secret layer uh around dogs and cats and that one i really really enjoyed i am not a huge secret layer fan i'm not quite one for what they've done with uh, taking away from LGS's and then just selling direct. I, I'm not a huge fan of that, but yeah, um, that secret layer was pretty fun. There are quite a few really nice arts there. I mean, secret layer. The problem is it tends to be hit and miss with the quality control. And on top of that, yeah, it's direct. And yeah, you're taking it away from LGS's that have built your game to what it is. Anyway, uh, we have Fugitive Code Breakers, the two one, it costs two with prowess and haste, and Goblin Rogue, and it disguises for five and oh, five generic on one red. and this this cost is reduced by one generic for each instant sorcery card in your graveyard so it can be quite easily disguised and then when it is turned face up this you will discard your hand and draw three cards if you do it at the right time it can be really good otherwise it's just a prowess haste that just can hurt a lot it can trade downwards as well if you build it up too much then we have relive the past well this is a kind of a finisher in limited otherwise fairly slow card and we get another rope this time foil and then we get a mountain foil and then oh, well uh, actually it goes the other way i'm always a mess oh look we have yours here i'm always a mess with organizing cards eh, eh, eh. i apologize for that but yeah anyway we are opening this at the time of outlaws it has released that expansion and already so you'll probably see this by then and uh, i'm hoping that you enjoy that expansion i think that is a cool cool expansion as well there are some problems with it and we'll discuss it in those specific videos but yeah anyway case of the burning mask giant weaver always cool reacher and uh, undergrowth recon this is our first mythic it has an enchantment it costs three with two green pips at the beginning of your upkeep you return target line card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped okay so yeah again if in in a land matters deck this would be important rift burst hellion and another card that we've seen quite often and this time it's foil and then a forest and an ooze token with trample oh, it's okay it's not as cute as the puppy but almost <laughs> okay so topiary panther is our first common and then we'll continue on to the uncommons and we have max specialist oh expose the culprit in a beautiful beautiful showcase then we have aftermath analyst okay underground mortuary oh great another one on surveillance i love these ones very beautiful that's the bulgari one we have cryptic coat again i like this card in limited i think it was really strong then we have out cold in foil and a forest and a beautiful token what is this token for ezrim oh ezrim he is a kick-ass okay two more boosters and then we're done with this product anyway i always advise for people to dip their toes in collecting by buying bundles and for the price they're usually worth it especially if you manage to get your hands on gift bundles when they're available so long as they don't keep up in the price lightning helix love that love this card um so yeah if you are into collecting and just want to tip your toes or in general if you like some uh, you collect a lot of things the, bo the boxes are quite useful to be fair officious interrogation have we seen this one before yeah we have okay that's interesting wow this uh one is going to be an interesting one another rare treasurer's greed have we seen polygraph orb with foil and then a forest and a spider token that is a really creepy spider token i mean spiders in general can be creepy but that one is even more so i think it's because the legs are so thin okay last booster here we go okay so what do we have here oh slicer under shadow so that's cute now we get granite witness green belt oh i like this one <laughs> this not player is not a great car but i just like the illustration it's really really cool okay we get the pride of hulk Glade. it is an 11 coster green crocodile elk turtle legendary creature mythic that's a 215 and this spell cost x last it cast rex is the total toughness of creatures you control and has defender for four with two blue pips until the end of turn target creature you control gets plus one plus zero and gains whenever this creature does combat damage to a player draw cards equal to its toughness and can attack as though it didn't have defender making it this uh insane card oh then we get a foil rare 
rare case of the uneaten trees, which we've seen before. That was very, very nice. This pack was packed. <laughs> Get it? It was packed. Okay, so that is a foil rare. Sure, we'll keep it here. And then we have a foil swampy swamp and Voya. Oh, that's nice. Or Voja. I don't know. You tell me in the comments down below. Anyway, and that's it. I always like unboxing bundles. It brings me back to the fat pack of time where you could buy it. I do miss the fact that it used to make books quite a, a easily accessible through fat packs. I really, really enjoyed that. And I wish they would start doing them again. But I guess it wasn't as popular. Either way, that's it for this unboxing. I think that if you really want also the uh, this version of the Ferox, which is quite interesting. And regarding the goodies that you can get inside, this bundle is really worth it. And yeah, I do enjoy this expansion quite a lot. But the biggest thing for me has been the, uh, well, the, the surveillance. I think they're going to open up some avenues later down the road. And of course, for hopefully commander decks as well, that they will be able to just bring about better lands overall. Either way, this has been Vlad. And uh, we thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please uh, like and subscribe to the video as it does help small channels like ours a lot. And if you have any comments or you want to know or have any questions, write it down in the comments down below as we read and reply to every one of them. And until the next one, where we will continue unboxing all the other products, including the commander decks for the expansion. We wish you a lovely day, a blessed day. Be good, be kind, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.